Hi there, it's Christy with the Chirp YouTube channel. Today I just wanted to film in an unusual location with the Christmas tree behind me and I have a cat on my lap and one by my feet as well so I didn't really want to move to film this somewhere else. I thought you might like a change of background once in a while. And I wanted to answer a question that one of my viewers had for me. Oh look, that's Claude. She's one of my cats. One of my viewers emailed me this morning with a question about a child that she knows who is echolalic, which means that he repeats words and phrases exactly from his environment in ways that are not very appropriate. And so she was asking, what are some ways that I can help him, for example, when he's greeting a peer and we want him to say, hi, Adam. He instead says whatever that child says to him. Okay, this is sounding a little confusing. For example, if a child comes into the classroom and a friend says to him, hi, Billy, instead of saying back, hi, Adam, to his friend Adam, he would say, hi, Billy, because that's what he just heard. Obviously, that's not the most appropriate way to answer. And so instead, what I recommend is something called backwards talking or also as if talking. A good example of that with greetings would be if when the child comes in the classroom, you say what you want him to say. So if he's coming in and he, you want him to say hello to one of his friends, Adam, Instead of greeting the child with his own name, you want to greet the child with the greeting that you want him to give you or the other children. In my case, I usually wave at myself and I say, hi, Miss Christy. And then I say, oh, good morning, Billy. It's good to see you. So that's just a very quick tip that you can use if you have a child in your life who demonstrates signs of echolalia, repeating everything exactly, using scripts from movies to express himself or herself. This is a really good tip. It, it took me probably a couple of years to feel really comfortable doing this because it felt backwards. It is backwards, but it helps our kids, our students, to learn the appropriate thing to be saying in any particular circumstance. And it's not hard once we get used to it. I hope this video was helpful to you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.